Hello and welcome fellow gamers. This is Energy Nislas from the Energy Gaming team and uh, today I have Energy Ryer with me. He's sitting he over uh, here in my bed and he's going <laughs> he's going to watch me play some uh, Dark Souls. Now before you even think about complaining about my total infinite skills in this game <laughs> I will let you know that I am pretty good and bad at it uh, I never played the pre-game called Dragon Souls Demon Souls, sorry uh, yeah and uh, the reason I'm playing this game is because my uh, dear friend Raya here brought it to me and uh, wanted me to try it out so here I am uh, yeah, he he bought this game and then gave it to me. So yeah, uh, now uh, <coughs> this is my uh, character Serani. She is, uh, I think I am level twenty five right now. Uh, I started off as a wanderer, but uh, after a while I decided I did actually want to play with regular swords and stuff which meant I had to spec strength instead of uh, dexterity uh, this means that I uh, lack some strength I don't know if you have like four, five more strength or something from the start if you start as a warrior uh, but yeah it doesn't make that much of a difference I imagine um, oh and uh, I have played some before I started this video now and uh, <laughs> I've come that far as I uh, <laughs> am allowed to enter the portal to the Capri demon. Uh, now I have tried to kill him a couple of times uh, and I have failed utterly. <laughs> well, uh, I was close to killing him once but uh, I failed on a roll and uh, hence I died. Uh, so first of all we'll uh, see if I can um, get past these goddamn assassins. <laughs> this differs time from time as well because uh, the first time I met them I died like uh, 13 times uh, then I killed all of them without being hurt and yeah so what did you do the last time? you killed the gargoyles right? oh uh, yeah uh, this game is pretty interesting because all you get from uh, the first NPC as far as quests goes, uh, he has simply tells you that you need to find two tower bells. Uh, now, you don't have a map and you don't have any compass or quest indicator or anything at all. So, you do need to use your uh, your brain. Pretty it's simply. A brain game. Yeah, it's a brain game. Too few of those around nowadays, I'm afraid, but uh, this is one of them. And uh, yeah, so uh, I started playing and uh, eventually I came to a big old church uh, and on top of that church there uh, was uh, a gargoyle or two, two, uh, one to start with and then another one. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I kill them without problem because uh, my dear friend uh, Raya here has been checking some forums and uh, He's told me to shoot uh, a drake in the tail 20 times to get this sword that I have, which is pretty overpowered com in comparison to other swords. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, this is the portal to the Capri Demon, uh, and uh, I, don't, I don't really want <laughs> to go in because I know I will die uh, pretty fast and pretty hard. But uh, yeah, let's give it a go and it's a small room and it's three mobs so um, yeah yeah I know but I'm going to die as I locked on the fucking dog yeah yeah I'm trying I'm trying dude I'm trying dude oh shit now I will jump down yeah, I. 
The first thing I want to do is try to kill both his dogs, but I just hit one of them, because the other one just uh, runs away. Now there I got my souls. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and there I died. Because, as I told you, I suck, and uh, I'm used to other RPGs where you usually attack with the X and Y button. Now, <laughs> the <laughs> yeah, because uh, now for you Xbox players, you use RB as light attack and RT as heavy attack. And the X button is the button you use items on. Now, using one of these pots approximately takes three seconds, which means if you do it at the wrong time, you will get hit by a boss and you probably will die. Uh, and that's what happened right there. But as you saw, I did actually get in uh, one or two hits and I killed both his dogs. So I think I might be able to kill him today. Uh, now, for you who haven't played this game, um, there are no real saves or anything like that. The thing is you have these fire beacons as you saw in the room. Uh, this works kind of as checkpoints you might say uh, when you die you will spawn at them uh, and you can sit at them and rest f to get your HP up and stuff like that uh, if you do however all the mobs you have killed will respawn except from mini bosses and bosses uh, this means you will have to use them pretty carefully and uh, you it's good for farming if you kill like 10 mobs then run back, rest, kill 10 mobs but otherwise it will get pretty irritating and the number you see in the down right corner is the number of souls that I possess now I had 1700 before I died now I only have 536 that is because when you die your body will be left on the ground and in that body you have all the souls you had um, the trick is now that to get those souls back I will have to reach my body and be able to pick it up because if I die that corpse will disappear together with the souls no uh, the souls is a pretty big part of the game as it's it's your skill points you might uh, attribute points you might say you use them to uh, get better uh, pretty simply put uh, now the more you take on your attributes the more they will cost if you take in strength for example uh, all other attributes will cost more as well so um, you kinda need to have a lot uh, I think the next level in my strength now is about 2.3k souls and uh, yeah from the way to that uh, checkpoint to uh, the portal now there is about 1.5k souls I think uh, and as you know I had 1.7 which gives me a hefty amount to use for specs uh, now I am at the portal again and uh, I'll see what I can do <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I'm feeling very... Oh shit! Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I, I did pick up my souls though, but um, yeah, I know. And now they are in a very, very bad spot because uh, as I enter the portal, they charge me, and I have to avoid three attacks to get to the souls. Um, I understand if you think this is pretty boring to watch. Uh, as I will do the same thing over and over until I have killed it but uh, that, that kind of is the deal with this game um, it I you are supposed to die a lot that's what the creators say anyways because it is pretty hard um, now these mobs for example uh, are some of the easiest in the game but uh, as soon as yesterday uh, five levels ago I uh, actually did die not from these but uh, those two standing over here 
because if you don't do everything right against the monsters they will be tough to kill and as I said I have an overpowered weapon this has like 200 damage another sword I should use has about 110 or something so uh, yeah I'm not supposed to one shot these dudes for example Oh and uh, by the way the trick is, th uh, the thing is that I want to use as few of these Estus flasks as possible until I come to the Caprite Demon because as you see he deals a pretty high damage <laughs> That's the dogs. Now three assassins. Oh, and uh, yeah, soon I do imagine that my sword will break because um, I don't know if it breaks after using it too much on enemies, but each time you hit like a wall or something, I know that your ability goes down. And then I have to visit a blacksmith to be able to repair it. And uh, repairing items also costs souls and the blacksmith is pretty far away and I have to kill pretty many pretty hard mobs to get to him and I will have to do this with my bad sword if this breaks down and uh, now I am probably going to die no but pretty close yeah oh sh now I uh, <laughs> almost uh, cursed, but yeah, if you don't do it right, you will surely die. That's what I said, and now I lost 4.9k souls.